What happens if you add concentrated nitric acid to a bit of pitch blender in a beaker? Well, one way to find out. Here comes the acid. And as you can see, the reaction starts immediately, giving off fumes. Those fumes are, to my knowledge, I'm not really a chemist, but to my knowledge, that is uh, nitrogen dioxide. And that is toxic, so you should really do it outside or under a fume hood. But let's speed things up a bit for a beautiful reaction. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of vapor coming up, which will condense on the, on the glass beaker. And as you can see, I'm using UV light to illuminate the beaker. And this will be for a reason. You will see that in a minute. For now, you'll just see smoke. But just wait a minute. And now the magic happens. Um, it is invisible on video, but there used to be some kind of orange coloring before. But now you can see really, really great green crystals growing. That is uranyl nitrate. And I think it's really awesome. I think it's really funny to imagine how those little atoms bond to other little atoms and rearrange themselves in new molecules. I think that's really cool to imagine. I love that. Here is the bit and the original speed again. You can see the crystals are forming quite quickly. Or more like the layer of uranyl nitrate is forming quite quickly. What is also quite interesting is that it seems to have some hexagonal shape, so it has six edges as it grows. Not sure if this is a coincidence, but it's kind of interesting. Okay, back to speeding things up again. And you can see um, most of the reaction seems to have occurred already. There's only minor changes from now on. So here's what the original pitch blender looked like. And now it has transformed to this, to having a nice layer of uranium compounds.